What's up, everybody? Pete Manzanelli here. Let's get right to it. The other days, I was like on Twitters, and my boy Late Round JJ was like, yo, who wants to do like a Bachelor Fantasy League, bro? And I was like, dude, that's like so me. Like, I'm in, I'm in. And so like, this was like week one, dude. And it was like nuts. And like, I had to decide like, who's going to get the late impression rose, dude. And I was like, okay, the doula. I like the doula. Like, that's cool. That's like a profession. And then it, he ended up giving it to like the lawyer, which, all right. And like, I probably should have late swap, but like, whatever, dude. But anyways, it got me thinking, and it's like a new year. It's like 2017, and I was like, you know, I want to hand out some roses. So I was like, let's have a Pete Manzanelli rose ceremony, like with the playoffs coming. And so I just wanted to do it. And like, I have a lot of things on my heart, and I'm like an emotional guy. And like, it's time for me to profess my love to some people in the NFLs and in the fantasy world that like mean a lot to me. So let's get on our way. Michael Crabtrees. Now, Michael, you had your chain snatched by that punk ass Nicholas Taleb the other day. And like, as a fellow professional, like who wears a chain like myself, like I can't even imagine like what that would be like to have someone yank your chain like right off your chest, bro. Although actually I can kind of imagine it. It'd be like if I was like building lineups, bro. And like Condia walked in and like ripped my chain off just because I was scooping all of his double ups. That would piss me off, bro. And I just want to let you know, like, I can relate. And so from one chain wearer to another, Michael Crabtrees, do you accept this rose? Alex Ripkowski's, Bro, we've, like, been through so much together. And you've been so good to me this year. And, like, the least I can do is offer you this rose. You've carried me to, like, multiple cash game wins, bro. And I was like at near 100% exposure to you all season, bro. And like, I will never forget that like when David Johnson was like choking and was like getting an MRI in week 17. Bro, do you know what you were doing? You were on Sunday night football. You were scoring touchdowns. You were scoring putties versus the Lions, bro. And I'll never forget that. You're like a hero. And like 2017 is going to be a big year for both of us, bro. You're gonna win the MVP. I'm gonna bink the Millie Maker, and we're gonna do it together. So, my bro, Alex Ripkowski, will you accept this rose? Odell Beckham's. You're like so sick, dude, and I don't care what Adam Leviton says, dude. You're like a prestigious talent. And by the way, I like talked with Adam Leviton's last week. Check it out, it's on my YouTube channel. But, anyways, Odell's. Like, I saw what you did, bro, and I think it's, like, so sick that you, like, took your teammates down to, like, Miami before the playoffs for, like, some R&R, &R, bro. Like, that's just, like, generosity personified, bro. And, like, I just want to talk about, like, that catch we saw you make, bro. I mean, that's, like, a 200-pound marlin, bro, and you caught it with just three fingers. And, like, a lot of people always want to say, like, yo, that's, like, the catch of the century. But, bro... It's kind of like the catch of the day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's like the catch of the day. So Odell Backham's like, you're my dude, bro. Will you catch this rose? And for the final rose, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little choked up, but for the final rose, Pete Manzanelli. And I know what you're thinking. I know the haters out there are saying, dude isn't that a little like looking at a naval officer you know when you're doing that and i'm like dude i can look at my belly button if i want but like you guys don't know what i've gone through this year and like what i've persevered through and like the variance and like the regression that i experienced like a 17 week losing streak like that's unparalleled bro and you know what that kept me above water it was my bankroll management dude and what do i have to show for it i'm still cash flow positive Okay, those are dollar bills, dog. And yeah, sure, it's like Christmas money, but it's still like representative of like my bankroll acumen. And like, I don't think people realize that like how 90% of being like a good DFS guy is like bankroll management. So for that, Pete Manzanelli, will you accept this rose? So thank you everybody for tuning in to the Pete Manzanelli Rose Ceremony. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel down there. 
you know be sure to leave a comment like i love to hit you back up in the comments like let's have a dialogue dude let's finally have a dialogue okay hit me up in those comments bro be sure to tell your friends like spread the word dude spread the mans yo we got a lot of videos coming down the pike we'll catch you soon fam